So Hyenas, the looter shooter under development by Creative Assembly, has finally met its demise. I think we can all agree that it was a decade too late in a gaming genre that is highly saturated by massive competition. It didn't really have any chance of making a dent against the likes of Apex or Valorant or Overwatch. And I mean, from all the gameplay we've seen and all the reviews of people who played the beta, it really wasn't anything to rave about at all. Now, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because, okay, great. Great. You know, like a game that we never really agreed with, we never really thought it should have been in development in CA in the first place, has been cancelled. But what does that mean for Creative Assembly? Does that perhaps explain the latest pricing we've seen in the Shadows of Change and of course a higher price for what looks like a saga game in Pharaoh? And what does all this mean for the future of Total War? Taking a look at the statement released by Sega earlier today, I think that this first paragraph is a really, really great place to start because it paints a picture of where the companies have been for the last six months to a year, what the changes are that they're making, and how that might affect future projects. So the company group has set the consumer area as one of its growth areas and has achieved rapid earnings growth in recent years. Great. So recent years, it's been doing pretty good. But the paragraph continues on by saying in the last six months to a year in comparison to previous years, this consumer area has seen rapid change, including reactionary decline from the stay-at-home demand in COVID-19. Obviously, less people are at home. That leads to less demand. The economic downturn due to inflation in the European region, which obviously makes sense as well. There are higher prices everywhere, and that leads to less purchasing power from the consumer. And the profitability of the companies in its European bases, basically pointing the finger towards Creative Assembly by saying, you know, you had a projected profit profit that you did not meet, and now we have to do something about it. In a way, this actually provides some really good context around the Shadows of Change DLC and its price hike and the subsequent CA statement that was made a few months ago in terms of, you know, costs are up. Unfortunately, that means that prices have to rise. It's going to be tough. There's no good time to increase prices, but we have to do this. We're not taking this step lightly. This was basically CA's way of saying that it's not just us going through this. We're, we're being told to increase the prices. We need to recoup the cost of other areas that are not making enough profit and this is the way we do that and you know obviously I'm not trying to justify this they had to really give us a bit more of a justification for the lack of content here not just the increase in price but this whole situation and Sega's latest statement definitely gives us a better indication in terms of how much pressure CA was under to do this. Now, earlier today in Legend's video, he mentions that this is going to impact the Sega shareholder. The average shareholder is going to take their money out, put it somewhere else that's going to actually make a profit. This is what he's talking about here. And that makes total sense. But I want to take this a step further and say that, you know, actually, this impacts Sega's investment plans as well. What this is saying is Sega is telling Creative Assembly, you're not meeting your projected profits so far this year. We don't have a lot of faith that you're going to do that for the rest of the year, the fiscal year and what we're going to do is we're going to remove investment or remove earmarked investment into this business area and put it somewhere else and i think this is what they're saying in the rest of this future outlook section they're saying you know we're going to make a 14.3 billion yen loss for this fiscal year um this is what we're expected to do and that's not going to affect our full year operating results forecast because other areas of our business are performing solidly. So what they could very, very easily do, businesses in this position, what they do is they take out investment in areas that are projecting less profit than they wanted, and they put it into areas that are actually making the profit they need. And I think that's what's going to happen here. Yes, there are lots of scenarios that might come out of this. You know, Total War might not be affected as much, or um, what could happen is resources that were put in hyenas that kind of resource can be restructured and employees are going to be made redundant, but equally some resource might go into Total War as well to help with development in Warhammer 3 and Total War Pharaoh and other unannounced projects. But equally, a business in this situation, what it does is it removes money out of the process. And I think that's what's going to happen. I think Sega are going to remove investment, put it into other areas that are making a profit. And I think that might negatively impact Total War. 
Now, I think it goes without saying, but it has to be said anyway. A lot of sympathy needs to be shown towards the people who've been working on hyenas, the developers, the design teams, everyone who's been working on hyenas, the people who've been putting years of their work and effort into this project only to be see only to see it be scrapped is that's a terrible thing. I really feel for these people and I sympathize. Um, so that needs to be said. And also what needs to be said is I think that this isn't the uh, you know, this isn't the bottom for Creative Assembly. I think things are going to get worse. The uh, Shadows of Change price hike, the lack of content there, uh, the Total War Pharaoh launch, which so far, I mean, looking at all the indicators, the way the community uh, mostly, majority, is talking about it is quite negative. Doesn't look like it's going to be having a very uh, a very successful launch either. Obviously, we'll see in a couple weeks how that goes, but um, I think there are some very hard times ahead for Creative Assembly, and this statement shows that there there's going to be a lot of restructuring, a lot lot of uh, reallocation of resources around and hopefully in the long term that will be for the better in the short term i think we're going to see a lot of negative impact of this to uh creative assembly its employees and the projects that it's working on but hopefully this reevaluation leads to even more innovation that creative assembly needs to get on doing with its with its projects especially in total war because a lot of the consumers a lot of the people in this community have been talking about it for a long time now and yeah I'm just hoping that there is a positive silver lining, hopefully somewhere in the future. While I was making this video, CA have actually released an official statement and it's got a lot of the kind of usual business uh, language and acumen that you, uh, the, the posture that you take when you've gone through this kind of difficult time, which is all fair and uh, fair and well. But they're also making it quite clear that what, you know, the fixed uh, expenses reduction that Sega describes in their statement is really a redundancy consultation uh, alongside the development uh, ending for hyenas. There will be lots of job losses, which is um, really, really unfortunate. I really hope that uh, I really hope for the best for everyone at CA who's been working at hyenas. And uh, yeah, just I think it's important to say that and, and really wish uh, for the best here in this situation. And that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to talk a little bit about this hyenas news, which is quite uh, dire. I would say this has a huge impact, not just on Sega, but Creative Assembly, its employees, its games, its consumers, us, its creators and uh, shareholders. And there's a variety of different people, all who lose, really. This is a lose-lose situation. And what we can do is basically keep our fingers crossed that this has a positive benefit in the long term for the Total War series, whether that means resources are allocated away from hyenas into Total War, if that's a higher headcount for new titles that are being developed that can hire better developers, better designers, more quality that goes into the content that's being developed right now. All of that could be a really positive thing for the Total War series in the long term. And hopefully that all happens. But there are possible negative consequences to all this as well. And I wanted to try and weigh up both sides. Obviously, that's what we try and do. Content creators look at the good and the bad and try and come to a, a pragmatic, rational uh, conclusion. So... Yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, drop any thoughts or questions in the comments section below. And thanks for watching. Oh, wait, subscribe to, uh, please subscribe to the channel if, if you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.